joining us today. Hey, hey, Tiffany. I'm, it's good. Just um, for everyone out there, we've, I've got uh, Nigel Collin with me today, who is a business uh, facilitator, coach, speaker, and author um, of The Game of Inches, which uh, many of you may be familiar with. Just so you know, our connection with Nigel, apart from the fact that I did have the pleasure of um, going to a conference where uh, Nigel facilitated for three years running, and it was awesome, um, actually, uh, we engaged Nigel to facilitate the OzPAC 2019 Business and Industry Conference um, for the on behalf of the Australian Packaging and uh, Processing Machinery Association, a bit of a mouthful, that one. But Nigel, I just wanted to let you know that the best piece of delegate feedback I got about you was that um, somebody said, I didn't even realise that Nigel wasn't from our industry. So, oh. I, yeah. So I thought, you know, this is, you know, manufacturing industry. Um, mm. They sat with you for two and a half days and just assumed that you were from within the industry. And that's where I think your real talent lies. I guess, you know, we we talked about, you know, when I spoke to you earlier about um, what we're doing for our check and chats, that the premise of this very broadly is, you know, how, how do we make the most of a crisis? Um, and I read in your recent article, um, you talked about the, um, the upside of COVID and what are the opportunities uh, that you see coming from this time of global crisis. So I thought, yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. I mean, I've, we've got we can get really down about it and look, let's not pretend that it's not horrific because it is like, this has just shifted everything. But in the back of my mind, it's kind of like, you know, if you, if you go back to, it's, it's a bit like the gold rush, you know, if you're going to make money in the gold rush, you sell shovels and somewhere in COVID is a shovel, if that kind of makes sense. So I think because we've all been locked down, we're all, our lives have just, I mean, this has happened so fast. And because of that, we're going to get really inventive, I think, and we're going to get really creative in finding new ways of doing things. And out of that, inevitably, will come opportunity. And, and I think we just have to be positive in our mindset and just open to exploring things a little bit more. So, yeah, let's not take away the, the, the challenge it's given us all, but I think so, there's a silver lining in it somewhere. There has to be. Yeah, I, I completely agree. It's always that, that saying, you know, out of um, every bad thing, comes good things yeah. and I yeah. think what, yeah what you're saying about the opportunity to think differently you know it really is an unprecedented magic moment in time don't you think uh, yes and we are look us Aussies we're really clever because as you know like I, I when COVID's not happening I get to travel all like you guys do all over the country and I get to interview some really clever people and there's some really inventive Aussies out there and it always comes you know mother is the necessity of invention kind of thing which is very cliche, but it's true. And, and the other thing I reckon that's going to happen, and it is happening, is this kind of renovation period. Um, you know, like a lot of businesses are in that position where there's not much happening. So let's work on the business. Let's, re let's do all those projects we've been wanting to for ages. And so something will spawn out of that. All, listen, Tiffany, all I know is if you just keep doing something, something will happen. I mean, sure. That's my philosophy anyway. Yeah, and, and I think that's also where in Australia we are so lucky with the job oh. that businesses can keep going and say to their staff, hey, yeah, let's take this opportunity to go through our processes, do all that stuff that we never had time to do um, so that when things come back, and we're not going to talk about go back to normal because we know that there probably yeah. won't be the, the normal that we're used to, but just so we've got that really good foundation now and, yeah, and that time for innovation that we never had before. Yeah, the, the new normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trademark that. And, you know, the other thing that, that just reminded me of was the old, you know, there's that old Zen saying of, uh, you know, don't find the problem, don't find the solution, let the solution find you kind of thing. And, and I think, um, you know, if we just, it, this is a great opportunity in many ways to also just chill if, if you're, if you can, and and just sort of, breathe and and then we'll start to see the opportunities you know this is you know what in many ways this is a great time to just declutter your head we all got so busy so busy that you know you don't you miss stuff <laughs> yeah, Nigel, we, we do have to wrap up but just one thing out of um out of this weird time that we've been in what, what's one thing that you've learned that you can live without oh isn't that interesting <laughs> um uh, it's going to sound really awful um my frequent flyer um membership 
I haven't, I haven't missed flying. I haven't missed airports. And I, like you, I spend a lot of time at airports. I don't miss it. I can live without traveling. I'm really comfy at home at the moment. That's probably the wrong thing to say in our industry, isn't it? Well, no, but you know, it's domestic, the next big thing. That's where we're, you know, and that's a, that, that'll be another conversation I'd like to have with you about, you know, in terms of events, um, you know, how the regions can really um, hopefully come out on top from this, because I think they will. I, yeah, and, and again, there's opportunity in there. We just need to find it. Uh, but I think you're absolutely right. Uh, yeah, that'd be, yeah, let's do that. Let's talk about that. Sounds good. All right, All right. thanks so much, Nigel. It's been great chatting to you. Yeah, likewise, Tiffany. See ya. Okay, thanks.